What's up guys, welcome back to the One Auto channel. This one here behind me, a Vauxhall Astra H 2009. We've got some play in the ball joint. We're gonna change a complete track control arm. Just a quick shout out to my buddy over in Canada, Thomas XOVCDS. Um, he's sent me some stickers. He spent a lot of channels some stickers to be fair. That's supposed to be my mugshot there in a little car. Um, so I've got a few of those and I've got a few of my stickers as well. I'm gonna give these away to my Patreon supporters. If you're a Patreon supporter, drop me a note. I'll post out some of these to you. Thomas is also very good. Sent me over one of his t-shirts. In fact, two of his t-shirts, which are like that. And he said that they're easy fit. Well, they are pretty easy fit. Cheers, Thomas. Thanks for that. All right, so part of the inspection, I grabbed the wheel at uh, 12 and 6 o'clock, 3 and 9 o'clock. And check for play. This one... All of that movement there you're seeing on camera is not the steering moving, that's playing the bottom ball joint. So, we'll get this wheel off and uh, what we're going to do, we're going to change this whole track, track control arm. You can just change the ball joint, but they've like got these factory big rivet things in there. By the time you've drilled them out or you've ground them off, the labour involved in doing that, you might as well spend the extra few quid and fit yourself uh, a new track control arm, trust me. Alright, so what we've got to do, change this arm out, we've got to undo this uh, nut and bolt here for the pinch bolt for the bottom ball joint and uh, then we can probably spread this apart a little bit or as we're changing the ball joint I've just got a pickle fork I can just ram in there and we'll just get that out and then we've just got um, basically one nut and bolt there and one nut and bolt there simple as that what I'm talking about the ball joint if you if you do want to do it it is a lot more work um, I have done it before but it really is a pain to be quite honest you've got these three um, rivet things here that you can either drill out or you can grind the heads off, knock them out and then you can change just this piece here. Which isn't a lot of money, if you want to do that that's fine. However, you know, they get a bit crusty. For the, for the extra, less labour, you're actually getting more parts because you're getting a new bush here and you're getting a new bush just there. Um, we've got a new arm just here. So that's what we're going to put on. Right, so everything on this appears to be uh, 18 mil, 18 mil ball, 18 mil nut. So first things first. First things first. Just wipe off these threads off. Get my squirty old pack over back. and then I like to put a bit down on the top of the ball joint and through the gap just let that soak in so that the ball joint comes out of the hub assembly easier right 18 mil push that on there can't quite get in with that just put a wobbly and a bit of extension on there that's better that so the bolt's still quite tight in there so what I'll generally do now turn it and then turn the bolt give the bolt a spin and you feel that spin up inside that pinch bit here and it's out happy days So, in that position, pull that right over. If you haven't got one, get yourself one of these pickle forks. Now, because what these tend to do is they'll tear the rubber boot just here. Um, we're replacing it all, so it doesn't matter with this one. But if necessary, you can just sort of open up this uh, split just there and pull out the uh, bottom ball joint. So we can just wash that in there and give it a hit. Oh. 
there we go, that's out. Let's push that out of the way. Super. Right. And for that bolt. You see when I undid that, it dropped slightly. That's because when we tighten it up, the best place to tighten it up so we don't stress these bushings here is basically if, you've got, if you can do it on the ground that's great, if not just jack up underneath it and tighten it up so it's got like the weight of the vehicle on it. That's that one out. And the back one, can we get it? That's it. Out, little wiggle. Now she comes. So, as you can see, absolutely shot. And you can pop that in and out of there. Sweet. So, new one. You can actually see it's very stiff. Lined up. Sometimes you can, sometimes you just need to move them around. I just use a rubber mallet so it's not to damage the main component. Lined up. That one fell in. So did that one. Good. Just spin those nuts on loosely. Come on, here you go. So we'll just tighten those up by hand to nip them up first. I'm just going loosely on there. Nick that right. So then we can get our ball joint, turn that out. Up there. And then you've got your this cut out just here in your ball joint. Basically that's where the pinch bolt goes through the hub, through that hole into this cutout, and that's Locking that in there, that won't move then. So we'll just hit that until that cutout gets in line with the hole. Sometimes good to put the light behind it. That's it. Bolt can go in. Not on. And you can zap that up this ball joint straight away because it doesn't matter about that one.
tighten that up nice and tight to factory spec. Good, so straighten that up. Now we've got to tighten these up, but like I say, we want ideally you can do it on the floor. Another way to do it is I'm going to pop a transmission jack under there and jack it up so it gets to the level position and then we'll tighten those down. Put a piece of wood under there. Oh well. There we are, jacking it up. So you're getting the suspension in the position it would be on the road basically. And that's it, just there. Click, click, factory spec. There we go. Now that is as easy as that. So there we go, wheels on, it's not torqued up to spec yet, but you can see all of that movement from that ball joint is gone. There we go then guys, that's that uh, track control arm all done. As I say, it is a track control arm. You're going to need to go and get your tracking done, your wheel alignment. This thing's in need of two front tyres, so that can be done at the same time. Anyway, I hope the video was of use to somebody. If it was, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to connect to me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And we are now on Coffee, and we're also on Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time, guys.